Welcome to the newest episode of Before You Book. We are in Mykonos here on the Greek Isles. I'm gonna turn this around just so you can see kind of the view here. Uh, totally beautiful, you got the old port there, you got some yachts, um, and then you also have the city just kind of within walkable distance there. So as you can see right here, we are at the Harmony Boutique Resort. Um, this isn't gonna be a very long video because it is not large, okay? It's very, you know, and there's tons of cats. That's something on the island is there are a overabundance of cats. A crazy, ridiculous amount of cats, and I don't like cats. But they're friendly. They do not hurt you. So this is the Harmony Boutique here. Um, let's walk on up here. Again, super, you know, uh, super intimate, super uh, just kind of like maybe 50 guests. I'm not sure, maybe that's not even the right number. This guy wants to be in the video. I have no food, okay? Just doing a review here. Okay, so this is like the main area down here. This is where you get your pool on. Uh, you can get some drinks, get some uh, food. Breakfast is on the second level here. So from what I have, <laughs> this guy really wants to be in the video. Okay, so what I've seen, at least from the video, it's, or from the resort itself, walking around, very similar to, I told you, man, there are cats everywhere. Okay, so it's very similar to the city itself. So the city itself kind of looks like this. So it looks like they've actually recreated that. Um, our room is this one, which I will bring you through. Um, I think you can kind of spring for some beach views or ocean views, but obviously everything around here gets you that. Okay, there's always ocean views. So whether you want to spring for it or not, it's up, for, up to you. So let's get up here. I'm going to do, do like a little circumnavigation of the resort itself. Hopefully you can see, because I am looking straight into the sun. Okay, here's your multi-levels. And if you're planning to stay here in Mykonos, you will see that this is very much like the city itself uh, when you're walking through everything. It's, it's very uh, puzzly, kind of feels like a labyrinth, a lab labyrinth of whiteness, and it is beautiful. It's actually super fun. It seems like everything's kind of a new adventure. There's always something going on. Got this beautiful little area, landing pad here. Looks like it's, it's uh, able to be used by anybody, so. Uh, another thing I, I saw is just a ton of small little doors everywhere in the city. Very small doors. So right here is the gym and mini spa. I actually just found this. So I'm kind of excited to show, show you what it looks like. Let's get down here. I mean, it seems like extremely hidden, but I don't think it is. I think it's just kind of the way it was built but as you can see it's very you know small just like the place itself but you know it gets the job done here is a massage room it looks like it's probably for private use no doubt um here we go here is the secret sauna here which um you know i haven't tried it out yet since i did just find out about it but it looks like it's the uh where you can actually apply it yourself and kind of regulate the temperature so it's not like regulated by somewhere else. Um, I will tell you one thing on the island is the presence of these little buddies. They are everywhere. It's kind of like New Orleans, you know, it's not, not something that you kind of hit people for or, uh, you know, review things on simply because it is part of the <laughs> ecosystem here. You know, it's not brought on by anything but that, but got a little a lounge area and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back up and I will show you some of the more um, specifics of the hotel. We will go into the main area and we will look at where you can actually get breakfast, uh, which is included. I will tell you the breakfast is a little lacking, okay? It is very different than other hotels. Honestly, we are actually going out, see again, get lost. We're actually going out next door called, it's called Blue Blue. We're actually going there for breakfast this morning. 
simply because we we wanted to kind of try some of the wanted to try some of the local fare so we wanted to try like a traditional grease breakfast and uh, the breakfast there was a little more um yeah it's just like continental style you know nothing too awesome but you know it, it, again it gets the job done so let's move up here and there we go i think we found our way i love this is just kind of a side note when you're walking through mykonos the juxtaposition between the white and the green cactus everywhere you go absolutely stunning it is so nice uh and you'll just get to see the blue doors the white it's just absolutely beautiful here we go we've made it back to the pool um made it back to the pool so it's a nice pool it's a good sized pool you know nothing too crazy but certainly cools you off during the hot mykonos days because those are very real so i'm going to toss my mask on here because we are still under the restrictions so let's toss this back on we're going to go in here so this is the main restaurant we actually have never eaten here um so i can't attest to its deliciousness but there's so much good food out there that it's like really hard to hone in on one place. You got your bathrooms down here, so super accessible from the pool itself. Um, handicap accessible elevator there. All right, let's head up here to the main area. That cat has found us again. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so good morning. This is the main breakfast area over here. Here is your selections, which I was telling you about. You know, again, not too nuts, but they do have a lot of options. Just kind of smaller options. So if you're walking a lot during the day, you're gonna wanna, you know, fill up. But there we go, guys. So that is the official review here. So let me walk back out. Here, let's go meet our friends, the kitties. Yes, I am still here. So that is kind of just a, a little walkthrough, I would say. You know, we've been here uh, a day, actually don't, no, two days. We've been here two days so far. And it seems like a lot of the hotels are very similar to this one. Uh, which is which is good because then it creates this like competitive environment of everybody offering great options to guests here. Gosh, I want to get some of this in here. Yeah, so I'm trying not to blind myself or you. Yeah, so it looks like everything's kind of equitable in the sense of um, amenities, which is you do you know it's great. So you can either stay out here, which is like the main road, which then you just take a little walk to the town or you can actually stay in the town and that kind of you're amongst the people you know it's it's been kind of dead here because it is you know still coronavirus and they're still opening up it's actually come, they're coming out of their um their dead season into their busy season so we're kind of caught in limbo here so this is a very unique situation where we have not had to get reservations for anything we can walk into a restaurant and they are giving you extra free stuff simply to say thank you for coming out and all that stuff so guys this is officially the before you book review of the harmony hotel boutique um, i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys are staying in Mykonos, this is definitely a contender. Um, I would do maybe some of your own independent research, but this is absolutely uh, a contender for uh, your stay here in Mykonos. So, all right, lastly, we're gonna be walking into the room here. Um, it is very boutique-y, just as the hotel name suggests. Got your class A photography on the wall. Uh, again, part of the mess that's typically uh, how I do these videos is a lived-in experience. So as you can see here, you've got your um, huge mirror, uh, you know, big vanity. Got your nice storage space, lots of space to put things. Um, oh, we're leaving coke out apparently. Okay. Um, and then a cool thing about this is they've got USB ports on both sides here. That's nice. We did buy an adapter, uh, which has been super helpful. 
And TV's nice. They got screen mirroring, which I found is very, very useful here in any other country because the TV is very lacking. So if you're if you like to fall asleep to things, you know, that's really 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 nice. So they come. This is important too. The fridges don't come pre-filled, so you can actually utilize them. Go out and buy your own stuff. Utilize that nicely. Uh, this was kind of unique. You put your card in here. Okay, and that opens up the safe. So it's not biometric, it's not uh, alphanumeric, it is card based. So, but if you lose your card and somebody knows where you are, kind of uh, SOL there. Main air conditioning unit. Uh, then we're gonna walk into the bathroom. These are kind of unique right here. So that's how you actually open it. So it's, you know, very interesting way to do it. Very art nouveau. Here is the bathroom, again, super boutique-y. Um, and then here's the shower. So the shower is fed from the ceiling, super cool, kind of hard to work out here. Looks like my wife got creative with where these go because that actually whew, expels water. Um, this one turns on that. Water is extremely hot, so be careful. Always line these up in the middle and then turn it on. That's a very, 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 very uh, pro tip there. Uh, so you don't burn yourself. So that is the room. I believe it's the standard one. Um, but again, does everything we need it to do. And it's actually really, really nice. They clean it on the rag. And again, nice to look at. A lot of storage space. Um, the one thing I would say is maybe bring some hangers. If you're looking for some hangers and you want it, because that's, that's currently my hanging. Uh, situation right there but uh, yeah bring some hangers or maybe ask I never asked for any so I don't know if they would or wouldn't do that to you but guys that is um, that's it that's it for the room I hope you guys enjoyed this review I'll see you guys in the next episode bye